Hello everyone, this is Javier Garza and welcome to Freddy Records Presents Musical Journeys. Today, I'm so proud and honored to present one of America's top Tejano and rock and roll artists. We're talking about legendary Sonny Ozuna. Sonny, welcome to the show. Thank you, Javier. It's a pleasure being here. It's good to have you, man. I've been jamming out to your music here lately and it's just, it's it's crazy. I'll tell you right now, I'm a big (laughs) fan. I'm a big fan. If I wasn't before, I am now. Now let's talk about, get right into it. This is your 50 year, year anniversary. For talk to me. How that's that that's the way it is. You know, um, I didn't believe when we first started we wouldn't be coming this far, but here we are, 50 years later, and we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of Talk to Me, which is the originally the first song that we ever recorded on, for the English market. Now you did this at 19 years old. Yeah, fresh coming out of high school, Man, Burbank right. High School, San Antonio, Texas. Yeah. Now, this had to be a big time in your life because it actually got you a spot on one of our America's iconic shows. Dick Clark's American Bandstand. Tell now, us about that. That. Was a, there. that was a treat. Uh, just coming out of high school, I was 19 years old. The uh, year was 1963. And uh, I was like every young uh, teenager at the time, killing myself after school to get from school to the house because Dick Clark was going to be on television. Never to ever in my wildest dreams think that one day I would actually be doing the Dick Clark American Bandstand show with the number one song in the country, which well, was now, you, were, you were also the first Chicano to get on the show. That had to feel, you had to feel proud of it, there. it was, it was, I think it was a blessing. It was a nerve blessing. Nerve-wracking? A little nerve-wracking. Uh, uh, shortly after that, uh, we had um, uh, uh, René René with Angelito, Lo Mucho Que Te Quiero, Freddie Fender, and some of those guys, you know, which were, uh, we have a lot of talent, man, Hispanic but, uh, talent. Listen, man. I, but I was just, that happened to be the first one, which just, Add to the whole thing, right? Yeah. Oh no! Yeah. You did the show, and I imagine after the show, everybody wanted to get a hold of you. The promoters, there was calls mm-hmm. everywhere coming. Tell us about that time. In your well, life. Uh, needless to say, life got a little hectic because uh, actually we got very busy, very busy, uh, not knowing that not only we were going through the whole trip of talk to me and the success that was in front of us, we weren't really looking at too well, but moving swiftly but that we would stumble on something just very short up the road called Tejano Music. So, gosh, it's, it was an exciting trip. So here you are making a transition from mm-hmm. English to Tejano. Right. Tell us about that situation. Well, here I am 69 CDs later on on, wow. uh, on Tejano. Of course, I, um, thanks to Freddie Records and people that have helped me along my career, I've been able to do uh, four or five different genres. We're, we're Hispanics, we're bilingual. Uh, we're all out, out of Texas, we're Tejanos, and, um, and so being brought up speaking Spanish at, the, at our homes by our moms and dad, and learning the English when we got to school, we've been able to handle both languages, and we were able to do Tejano and country and... and, and a little uh, bit of R&B. A little bit of everything, R&B, a little bit of everything, which of course was, makes it exciting on this one, because right. it's mostly R&B. Yeah. Talking about this one, let's talk about this new one. <laughs> Celebrating 50 years, yeah? talk to me. Yeah. You've got some great hits about this new album. Tell us about that. Well, there were some songs. We actually had sit down uh, with Freddie Sr. And, and we had discussed wanting to do some some sunny oldies and, and just songs that I remember from back in that day. So we had the chance to do a couple of projects before this one. And, and they're also available on Freddie Records. But this particular one, we had kind of been building up for because we didn't want time to, to totally lapse from my career and not be able to get to the 50th. So it's exciting. Sonny, exciting. I think timing is everything. This is the perfect timing to release something like this. Tell us about some of the songs that are on this new CD. Well, uh, there were some, uh, of course, we've been picking songs for the other two projects that I mentioned, but on this particular one, there's one song that just kind of sticks out to us, and, and of course, it had to be one of my favorites because I grew up with, with this with this artist of music, which is Ray Charles, and he had a song called I Got a Woman, and I remember from the beginning of time that we started playing, I used to always play that song. So when I got into the studio at that time, we're starting to do these projects, Freddie Senior said, look, man, we, why don't we cover that? I got a woman, man. You always talked about that. I got a woman. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be the featured song on the 50th anniversary of Talk To Me. Now, I, heard an, I read an article about you about you're like a wine that's aging as age comes. <laughs> you're getting better. Your voice is aging. And, I mean, you sing the song. I think you captured the essence of Ray, Ray Charles because mm-hmm. the song is just... 
It's amazing. I heard it just the other day, and it's just, it made me a fan. You know, that, it, well, what happens is that, you know, we, we uh, were actually growing up with James Brown and Ray Charles and a lot of the R&B, and just being that we're from the barrio in San Antonio, right? And and we're like all, all the young teenagers in San Antonio, and I guess everywhere else. I mean, you guys probably have them here, too, but we, we all grew up as garage bands. We used to imitate other groups, and of course, for me, James Brown, Ray Charles, those guys, I learned to do my R&B from. So well, my I gotta teacher. say, welcome home, man, because you have really, really laid down a serious CD with a Thank lot you. of oldies, and Thank I think you. You, you're like in a time capsule, and you're taking everybody back to the '60s and the '70s because I felt like, man, this would be like great music for you know drive-in convertibles when the girls used to skate up to the cars. You're bringing that whole era back. Tell well, us about the nostalgia. On that. Well, what happens with with a lot of these songs? Um, there, there's, a, there's a few that, that we just didn't really want to get away from us, but you will have a little bit of, just to recall, um, like, uh, talk to me, put me in jail, smile not, cry later, that all, still goes over real big with all the lowrider clubs and all puppet. of that. Especially I'm your California. Puppet. Yeah. Especially yeah. California. And I still do a lot of the doo-wop shows up and down the West Coast all the time. And, and, and we do all these songs. And, and some of these songs that, that, that are going to be released on the 50th, you really have to get this particular CD because I wanted to get to some of these songs before it got any later in the game. Well, so, me so, but they're all on the 50th. They're all hey, on the 50th. In California, that's what they ask for is oldies, oldies. And you're in California, mm -hmm. it's like you step back in time. Yeah. And, you know, up, up until I heard your CD last week, mm -hmm. I honestly became a fan of all these. I mean, it's just the way you portray them. You put your heart and soul into them, and I can tell you're enjoying what you do. I do, I do. Um, they always tease me that I'm every time I walk on, it's like I'm going walking up to my first job, but uh, and I get carried away sometimes on stage. But uh, I love what I do, man. This for me, this is 50 years later. Now you started off at 16 with a couple of your high school friends with the group mm -hmm. Galaxy, right? <laughs> yeah, then, it was a doo-wop group is what it was. Then yeah. you went to the Sun Glows, mm -hmm. then the Sunliners. Right. Where was the transfer between the name Bunny and Sunny? Because <laughs> right? they used to call you Bunny, right? <laughs> yeah, they did call All me right? Bunny. What happened was when I was real young, when I was born as a matter of fact, it goes that far back. When I was born, I was real light complected. Didn't even, think I belong, think? Yeah, well, didn't even think I belonged to the family. Right on. <laughs> but but I was real like complected, and the, the remark was made there at the hospital, oh, look, he's real white like a bunny, <laughs> like a bunny rabbit. Right? <laughs> so bunny stayed with me till I guess till I was about 13, 14 years right old. On. And I said, this has got to go, man. Getting old, <laughs> getting right. old. Getting How are you going to look at 17? Right, on. right. So, buddy. Uh, so then you went to Sunny and the Sunlight. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Well, we didn't have a name for the group. And we were gonna, um, I remember distinctly, we were gonna be on our first trip coming from San Antonio over to uh, play for the first time in Houston. And we we're still walking around, what are we gonna call the group? What are we gonna call the group? And off to the right, the side of the road, I saw a sign that said, Sun Glow Feed Company. <laughs> Food for animals, right? But I liked the way Sun Glow sounded, sun right? Glow. Yeah, bunny and the Sun Glow, so I not go over too big. But w w all we did was change the B to an S, like a sunny day, right? And it went with the Sun Glows, and so that's where Sunny and Sun Glows came from. Mm -hmm. uh, when, when I got to uh, uh, talk to me, actually released uh, nationally, uh, the group that I was uh, working with in my senior year thought I was just going to pick up and take off as a solo artist because that's what the, basically what the company, a major company, got a hold of us. And that's what, that's what their plans were. And I said, no, 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 I'm, I'm not going anyplace. You know, we're going to get our little thing going, right? Blah, blah. And they didn't buy it. So I left the group, and they, they kept on a little longer as Sun Glows, and I formed Sunny and the Sunliners out of Houston, a group out of Houston, and that's where Sunny and the Sunliners now you've toured all of America, been all over the place, you know, different people, different fans. Mm -hmm. What has been one of your most memorable moments of all time? Well, um, gosh, it's a little hard. It's a little hard. I don't have one in particular because, of course, the Dick Clark American Bandstand is always going to go with me. Uh, thanks to Freddie Martinez Sr., my first Grammy, you know, things like that. Uh, I've done two or three motion pictures. Uh, with Antonio Aguilar and, and uh, La Muerte de Pancho Villa. I and I, I have a new film out right now. It's called uh, The Broken Promise with, um, with uh, some pretty big names in the, in the movie industry. So uh, it's a little hard to say one in particular, but 
I've enjoyed all of it, man. So I, I, good, good times. Would good you change times. anything? Not really. Well, a uh, few setbacks, I guess, uh, like everything else, you know, it, it can't all be pointing up, right? So, but that, there were a few things, you know, um, there was a time back there, and I go back there once in a while. Mm -hmm. um, there was a time when when I, I did so much imitating James Brown <laughs> hey. that that I actually tore one of my one of my there's some uh, real fine nerve endings on the vocal cord, and I and I busted some of those little those little you were off. real thin. So they yeah. So you I was I, God the longest time of my life. Hey, you can see how much I talk, right? <laughs> but but six months, man. I was six months without working. Wow. And and I'd like to buy go crazy. I was making notes, but I was running out of tablets, man. I, I'm a lot of notes <laughs> to keep up with my talking. But but for six months, I didn't I didn't get to work, and I I thought I was gonna lose Hard it, times. man. Yeah. But uh, God is good, man. Which God is good. Yeah, God is, is good. And um, he got me back on my feet before I was knowing, man. I was out there and screaming, to, I guess trying to blow the other side. I don't know. But <laughs> I was having a good old time, and after that, it was really. Really, all good. You excited about this new tour? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I really am. Uh, right now, we, uh, like I said, um, Freddie Martinez Sr. formed a, a new CD, which is called the Dream Team, and so we're actually exp exp starting to experience our shows, performances there. But uh, I'm excited about the one he's going to be doing here shortly with the gospel, and and that's also going to be with the Dream Team. So we're looking forward to good things. Sure. A todos los que nos están acompañando en la idioma hispana, gracias por ser tan amables con nosotros a través de tantos años en, en la carrera artística de Sane Osuna en los Sunliners. Les recomendamos este CD nuevo que aparece muy pronto en su favorita discoteca donde pueda obtener sus grabaciones de Sunny and the Sunliners, el 50 aniversario festejando la canción Talk to Me, 50th anniversary of Talk to Me. Gracias, Javier. You're amazing. Gracias, Javier. Thank you. And I'm so happy and excited for this new season. Thank you very much. Guys, this has been Freddie Records Presents Musical Journeys. I'm your host, Javier Garza, and this has been Sunny Ozuna. <laughs>